morning everybody i'm Juma mighty with you on the sites and this message is for our beautiful taurus hi taurus happy holidays to you listen this season is you know we're moving into that energy for your sister sign capricorn and uranus is still in your sign right but it's not retrograding anymore um so you guys can relax <laughs> um and Uranus is going to be in your sign for some years, but it's okay. It's going to push you to be ambitious, to be, you know, um, assertive, you know. But I like the month of December because it has a few surprises, you know. And even in the month of November, I felt this for you, but it's going to be even more beautiful, okay. Now listen, I have some wisdom cards, some tarot cards, and some love cards here. This is your life and energy for the month of December 2020. I'm super excited for your 2021 reading. Oh. I'm so excited for that. Guys, visit my website, g1insights.org. Every Tuesday, we are live at G1 Insights on Instagram, okay? And um, there was something else I wanted to say. I think, okay. I'll remember by the end of the video. So listen, let's just get into it, okay? Because I can't remember exactly what I wanted to say to you. All right, so here we go. Before I forget anything else. <laughs> All right, all right, show me Taurus, sun, moon, wow, all right, show me Taurus, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, and Taurus. This is for the Taurus man and the Taurus woman. Ooh, la, 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 Taurus, look at that, you are blessed, honey, you are so blessed, all right. There's going to be a message, a powerful message that comes to you in the month of December, and this is going to be for your finances this is going to be about your business this is going to be sorry guys I'm having some stuff pop up okay so this is gonna be for your finances your career this is about improving yourself making better changes of course but it's gonna be so interesting though guys it's gonna be super super interesting um, not only that, not only that, but it's going to be, a, it could be a spiritual message. It can be like different signs, you know, synchronicities and stuff. So pay attention to, you know, what people say to you or how they say it to you. Um, pay attention to, mm, don't know why that keep popping up. Okay, so... Pay attention to the things people say to you. Paying attention to how you feel around other people. Pay attention to um, people's reactions. So like when you say something, like for instance, if you say, oh, I love you, pay attention to that person's reactions because it's going to tell you a lot about how they really feel for you. And it's going to also, um, mm, I just heard a confession. So somebody could, can be confessing their love for you. Now, this you know, and that, that's about love, right? But like I said, there's going to also be some messages here when it comes to your finances. And I feel like some of this energy was already beginning to happen in November. But now in the month of December, it's a lot more powerful. So um, pay attention for like good news, um, some type of good news that's going to come in the mail or some type of high recognition for something. It says here that you are blessed, my love. So it says here to go with the flow. You know, you have everything that you need to progress. So it says here, don't worry, you are blessed. I also see imagine here. Okay, so try not to spend too much time um, in La La Land. Try not to spend too much time... Um, Try not to spend too much time daydreaming, but you might find yourself doing that, though. You might find yourself daydreaming. You might find yourself, um, you know, as you're sleeping, having different dreams about things, you know, or people, weird things happening, things that don't really make sense, like, but not in a bad way. It's just things that just odd considering you know you're not like the most spiritual of the zodiac so it's like for all these revelations and epiphanies to be coming to you it's almost as if like spirit is really seeking to send you a powerful message and this could be 
a good hint about your career or your finances or this can be a really good hint about a soulmate or someone that you're really close to a family member some side some type of concern about a family member or some type of um whatever it is it's just gonna be like it's just gonna kind of wake your spirit up a little bit and it's gonna wake your spirit up in a sense where you're gonna realize wow like I'm, I'm so grateful because I had no idea you know there's so many more people going through so much worse and here I am you know receiving all of these blessings you know how can I be a blessing to other people so I feel like it's gonna be kind of like one of those real passionate sensitive moments for you because Capricorn's energy is very like serious and stern right but not only that but we start the month off in like December 1st right Sagittarius Mercury going into Sagittarius so again these revelations could be through spirit coming to you in your dreams someone trying to telepathically speak to you this can be someone revealing something to you again some type of confession um coming to the surface okay somebody saying something or you finding out about something and it's not it may and it may not be a bad thing i mean to each his own this is a general reading so you guys got to take it to and apply it to where you think you need to apply it to but hopefully for a lot of you i think this is a good thing you know because like i said she's smiling she's in her zone she's feeling herself she's blessed she's grateful she's humble so there's a lot of energy here that's saying you know everything will be okay you know so and if i can switch these cards around you know it would look like this it would be you know a message in a bottle pay attention to your dreams and that's probably why imagine is here because you could be daydreaming a lot or you might get that revelation in your sleep or maybe while you take a nap or something or you could be on a bus you could be in your car waiting for the light to change and just suddenly you get like this this visual of something and it could be a potential spouse it can be your lover it can be um again i just feel family or close connection so whatever this is it's gonna really be powerful like it's gonna like i said it's gonna really wake your spirit up in a sense okay um and you're going to be so thankful. I just feel like it's a lot of humility here. Like you're going to be very grateful, very humble, um, feeling really calm, feeling free, stress-free. Being grateful that it's not you going through the changes, you know. Um, being grateful that you finally found the love of your life, you know. I just feel like there's going to be... It has already begun, you know, like a lot of major shifts and changes happening for you. But now, not only are you ready to step out and do your thing, that's just the, that's just it. You know, it's like, because you never experienced anything like this before. So it's like, everything feels so weird. Everything feels strange, you know, but you, I feel like you're taking it all in, but it still feels weird because it's like, wow, like I had no idea that this would pop off like this. I had no idea that I would get this much assistance. I had no idea that this person was watching me all along, you know. Um, but there's somebody too that can be very um, hurt or be kind of, I just hurt all in their feelings about something. Again, I'm, I'm feeling close connections, either a family member or um, someone you could possibly be dealing with. Like they're feeling some type of way about something. And I think that with these messages that's gonna be coming to you, you're gonna realize exactly what you need to do. And you can choose at that point if you're gonna separate yourself from the chaos or the drama. And maybe that is why you feel so much at peace. Maybe that is why you feel um, like really relaxed and humbled and quiet i just feel like you're just like mm, whatever you know like it's like as if you're just blocking out the nonsense like nope i'm not worried i'm not worried god is good to me like you know i just feel like a very sense calm energy with you um so either this person is really sad about something or upset but i don't feel like you're gonna let that stop you i don't know i need clarity on this because i'm receiving a lot of different um downloads <laughs> for your reading because i do see emotions here but i also feel like um a lot of you could be avoiding your emotions or avoiding how you've been feeling or what you've been feeling 
Taurus, you're very sensitive and empathic naturally, you know, um, whether you tap into that energy or not is totally up to you, but most of you guys are very sensitive, very empathic, you can normally feel things, and, um, like, somebody can share a very sympathetic story with you, and you can suddenly just be like, wow, I'm so sorry, you know, like, you have a lot of compassion for people, and with this situation again it's like you guys can choose to be you know allow your emotions to kind of just overwhelm you or you can say you know what no is is no i've done that enough you know the past six months i've done that the past eight years i've done that i've dealt with your inconsistencies you know i've dealt with the the lion i've dealt with the, the bull crap you know enough is enough and like I said, this could be a really close connection. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a spouse. It can be a family, sibling. It can be a cousin, you know, somebody that's just straight up annoying, okay? Or someone that you're just really close to, like a friend, perhaps, okay? Um, let's look at some tarot cards, guys. Let's get clarity on this. Why is a message in the bottle here, guys? Why is a message in the bottle? Thank you, Spirit, for showing me Taurus, Summon Horizon, or Venus and Taurus, overall life and love energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just heard Christmas. I don't know. Yep. So, yep, the Hierophant is here. It's like, again, there's some type of lesson that you need to learn. And you have not been able to learn that lesson, or you've been avoiding the chance to learn this lesson. Okay? Um, there's something that you need to get from this and this is why spirit is like okay they're not paying attention to it in the physical realm so we have to go deeper we, we're going to go into their subconscious we're going to speak to them and show them what we need them to know and i think that that's what's happening for you taurus and that's why you are feeling like wow i had no idea maybe i did sabotage that job or maybe i did um, in some form or fashion, maybe I did sabotage, you know, that relationship. And again, it doesn't mean necessarily a romantic relationship. It can be something else, a friendship, a lover, an ex. You know, you could just be thinking, reminiscing, thinking about people, feeling nostalgic in a sense. Okay? But, again, with that powerful revelation comes an opportunity to make things right to do things the right way so if you know or feel like you may have messed up in the past for a particular opportunity a job a financial breakthrough whatever it was that you may have felt like damn i missed my chance the universe is giving you a second chance so that's the good thing about the energy being into capricorn now or going into capricorn and also being now and adventurous Sagittarius because now you get to, you finally get it like before it was like okay I'm prepping for this I'm working hard it's not working what am I doing wrong what am I doing wrong and then now things are finally starting to go things are starting things are starting to progress and move forward and now you just have a moment of reflection that's just what it is you're reflecting on the who the what the why you know the problem like Oh, okay, so I know not to do that next time. You know, it's like an aha moment. Like, I know not to do that next time. So that is a lesson that is being here. It's like, oh, okay, and I know where I went wrong. I know where, what happened. You know, I didn't understand it before. I was kind of confused, but now I get it. Imagine. Yep, resources. Resources, guys. So another sign got these two cards, and I can't remember who it was. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because I did shuffle the cards. I don't know why I'm getting a lot of the same cards. It's like a lot of us are getting the same as that cards. That's it's strange because we know that the month of November was all about transformation, but December is such a <laughs> beautiful, adventurous, spiritual, um, month to kind of get back to us you know to get back to ourselves so it's, it's interesting how this is going to play out okay yeah so there has definitely been um a sense of discontentment okay and i feel like you're working towards getting that back again 
finally feeling at peace, feeling at ease, realizing, you know what, I am blessed, okay? I sabotaged it before, but I will not make the same mistake twice, okay? Again, just, you know, when we, when we gain a grateful heart, you know, we get more. The universe loves a grateful heart. And I've been saying that to a lot of us this month. You know, the universe loves a grateful heart. So I think it's super important for us to not stay stuck in the past. You know, we want to move forward. You know, that's what I love about Sagittarius energy is that they don't even bother looking back. They're just like, up, oh, on to the next thing. That ain't work? Okay, next. Like, they, they have a very swift, quick way of thinking. And they're quick on their feet. And that is what the universe wants you to do. The universe wants you to just keep moving. Keep moving, okay? Don't worry about what didn't work out. Don't worry about who hurt you or, you know, the chaos that you've been through. Don't worry about the tears that you've cried this year. Don't worry about it. You know, you are blessed and you are loved. Here are the king of pentacles. Okay, the king of pentacles in reverse. Again, finances. Being overwhelmed about your finances. Some type of miracle is coming your way, Taurus, especially when it comes to your finances and when it comes to love, especially. Get ready. Like I said, some type of good news is going to be in the mail, coming through your email or a text. You might realize that you had some sudden deposit that you didn't know that you were going to get. It's going to be some type of good news or is receiving some type of letter. It could be a letter of, of approval for a loan or um, some type of insurance, something that was um, supposed to have been given to you a while back is all flowing in, like back to back. And you're like, okay, all right, God, you know, I messed up the money before. I'm not going to do it this time, you know. So it's, it's, it's a lesson that you learned here. So let's look at love really briefly. All right, okay, here we go. Okay, so try to be a little lighthearted this time in love. You know, again, don't take things for granted. Try to be a little lighthearted. Try to... Um, you know, don't jump to conclusions is what I hear. I also see conversing, okay? So, yeah, there's definitely some type of lesson or you're being taught something. So, a lot of you um, could be just simply venting your feelings to someone. You guys might decide to actually be around someone who uplifts your spirit, who uh, makes you laugh a lot. Someone who is more like a friend than a lover, you know, but you guys have great chemistry. I also see the palm tree here, and this definitely represents stability. So, with the nine of cups coming out here in reverse yes yeah, definitely um you're looking for stability in love you're looking for stability when it comes to your emotions and you want to grow with someone i feel like you want to grow and get old with someone you want that security and i feel like with this person that uplifts your spirit and make you laugh and you know they they do so much for you spiritually and emotionally i feel like you want that with this person okay for a lot of you this can be someone new for a lot of you this can be with the person that you're currently dealing with this can be a really powerful foundation if you let it be the thing is the trick is not to stay stuck in the past okay be lighthearted okay again there it is things coming to the light like i said some type of confession so i don't know if this is going to be for you or the person is doing this um to you um confessing their feelings maybe they were going through financial difficulties maybe you were maybe that's why you were so stressed out whatever it was there's going to be some type of reconnection or resurgence of a relationship okay so taurus i love you thank you for watching happy holidays again visit my website g1insights.org to book a personal tarot reading or to purchase one of our beautiful holiday candles these 16 ounce holiday candles definitely come with three or more scents they are very beautiful they smell good you can literally pick your own scents guys okay don't forget every tuesday we are live on instagram all right and Please become a member of my Patreon page too, guys. It's like five bucks. Like the first tier is like five dollars. When you guys become a member of my Patreon page, it just allows me to continue to make these beautiful candles and to, you know, for every little money, every piece of earnings that I get, it goes to a family in need. You know, COVID really jacked a lot of families up this year and it's my you know, honor to want to be able to give back to the community, whether it's through clothes, a bag of food, whatever it is, we want to give back to the community because you guys have been so good to us. God has been good to us. And you know what? If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to do these readings. We wouldn't be able to do these candles. So I love you. Feel free to check it out and I'll see you guys again soon. Be good to yourself.